Please be advised that this recorded webinar has been edited from its original format, which may have included a product demo. To set up a live demo or to request more information, please complete the form to the right. Or if you are currently not on CSC Global, there is a link to the website in the description of this video. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Streamline and Secure a Competitive Position with CSC's eRecording Solution. My name is Caitlin Alberta, and I will be your moderator. Joining us today are Musa Khan and Andrew Singleton. Musa is a National Account Manager for the Electronic Document Recording, e-recording division of CSC, based out of Wilmington, Delaware. He's been with CSC for more than five years and is dedicated to CSC's e-recording program, and his daily workflow includes onboarding submitters to use CSC's e-recording digital tools and new client acquisition. Andy is a sales engineer in the Real Estate Services Group at CSC, since joining CSC in 2015, Andrew has held several roles in the real estate group, including sales representative and team leader, where he provided onboarding and service delivery for submitters using ePrepare, CSC's e-recording solution to reduce risk, document rejection, and processing time across documents lifecycle. And with that, I'd like to welcome Andy and Musa. Thank you, Caitlin, and thank you to everyone that joined us uh, today for, for our webinar. Musa and I are both excited to share some information with the audience. And um, before we get into um, all things e-recording, just a little bit about CSC for those of you unfamiliar with us. Um, for more, more than 120 years, CSC has been uh, the partner of choice for companies around the globe, trusted to handle everything from incorporating a company through maintaining compliance to corporate transaction work protecting digital assets from, uh, from the threats on the online world, and everything in between. We offer the solutions and technology that keep businesses running in the background, allowing clients to focus on the important work of gr growing their business. I would like to show you um, on, our, on this screen here is our robust menu of service offer, offerings. Some of you on the call today are already using us for one or two of these services and are taking advantage of CSC to handle many of your compliance filings. What you're seeing here is a comprehensive list of services that CSC offers with real estate recording and, and searching being just, a, just one option from, our, from the services that we provide. Thanks, Andy, and once again, welcome to all our um, audience and viewers. Uh, just to quickly go over the agenda, uh, we will be discussing adoption and growth of e-recording. Uh, various lean document types, uh, basics and benefits of uh, e-recording as a technology and service, uh, evolution of e-recording, um, any notable county activations, um, any complementary services that we uh, offer as part of our e-recording uh, package, uh, product demonstration, and then at the end there will be time for Q&A. Thanks, Musa. Um, so when I started in 2015, there was less than 1,000 counties throughout the country that e-recorded. Uh, now we're approaching 2,500 counties throughout the country. That um, encompasses over 90% of the U.S. population. So many of the jurisdictions are, have adopted or e-recording and has enacted legislation to allow for the e-recording of, of documents. Um, CSC was the first to e-record way back in 2002 in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, Amish country. Um, when it comes to uh, you know, doc types, um, early on, it was just real estate or mortgage-related documents that were, were e-recorded. And, and over the, the years, it's expanded to um, all different types of documents, from, from the mortgage and loan servicing side to title and settlement to um, very unique uh, industries that, that now have the ability to e-record their documents. Um, you know, Vermont remains the last county to adopt legislation for, or I'm sorry, the last state to allow for, for e-recording. Um, you know, we on board roughly 150 to 200 counties every year um, to bring on, to adopt e-recording. That number spiked uh, quite heavily, you know, coming out of the pandemic and a lot of the counties that didn't have e-recording in place, um, you know, had, had to come up with a resolution. Um, you know, for the non-traditional uh, recording methods. So, 
Um, and and you know here lately the the annual document recordings uh, have, has confirmed to us the growth of e-recording and and um, adoption across all markets. As we see on our screen, uh, there's uh, multiple lien document types uh, that companies can record. Uh, just to name a few, mortgages and deeds of trust, mechanics and uh, construction liens. Uh, there's medical liens, uh, HOA liens, timeshare liens, tax, tax liens, uh, ONG and mineral liens, um, solar panel liens, utility liens, assignments and releases. Um, I, I believe this paints a picture that there's uh, multiple types of liens that submitters are able to e-record using our system. And it goes to show how broad the application of the e-recording technology is. Um, it covers multiple industries, not just uh, for real estate, uh, but for example, in Texas and Oklahoma, uh, the oil industry and the solar industry, and um, on the coasts, um, would say predominantly uh, timeshare liens in states like Florida. Um, an important thing, of course, to notice um, is that during the COVID uh, pandemic era, um, Various government agencies at the, the federal and state level suspended all collection efforts across um, a lot of these industries. And uh, ever since, we've seen that regulations of that nature have been backtracked and lifted. And as a result, we, uh, we're seeing a significant uptick in a variety of liens being recorded. All right. On this, this uh, slide, we're going to discuss the basics and benefits of e-recording. Um, for those of you that may be unfamiliar with e-recording, it, it, first and foremost, from a te technology standpoint, it's, it's uh, through a secured web app application. Um, you know, the, the immediate delivery of e-recording, right? It's instantaneous. The moment that you submit your document, it, it lands to the, to the respective county's recording queue, and that's where the human, human element comes into play, where their clerks are reviewing those documents and ultimately processing them accordingly. Um, from a security aspect, the the original wet sign document re remains in your possession the entire time. The the county is working off a PDF image of that of that or, original. So, you know, once it's been recorded, you receive the recorded instrument immediately right back to you. Um, if it gets rejected for any reason, you also receive that that rejected notice and rejected doc document back to you immediately. So you can um, get it prepared, make any corrections, get it prepared for resubmission. Um, on the billing aspect, that, that's another key component of e-recording. Uh, e CSC advances any and all jurors fees and taxes at the time of recordation, and then we reconcile the next business date with our submitters. So uh, there's a number of benefits to it. Those are just a handful of the, the primary benefits to e-recording, um, as well as the cost effectiveness. You know, and many times it's, it's cheaper, quite frankly, to, to e-record than it is through traditional delivery methods. All right. Um, now, talking about the basics and benefits of e-recording from a technological uh, perspective, um, in today's fast-paced environment and the level of competitiveness we have, uh, the reliability of a system is highly imperative, um, something that's available to you 24-7. And our focus here at CSC is to strive uh, to provide that 24-7 uptime and access for all the applications um, and services that we offer uh, to all our customers uh, as, a, as an organization. Um, our e-recording platform uh, provides very simple uh, and effective um, document image uh, enhancement tools. Uh, there may be certain eventualities, for example, if your printer acts up uh, or your scanner is acting up uh, and everything's outside the county prescribed margin lines in terms of your image, uh, we have tools uh, that act as a safety net around those eventualities to make sure that there is adherence uh, of the image that you're going to record to county standards, which also, of course, improves the efficiency and reduces rejections. Now, as, uh, as an organization, we make sure that our products um, are always uh, at the helm of the latest technology, and uh, product enhancements, of course, is a huge part of that. Um, and we make sure that regular feature enhancements are made within our system, our e-recording platform. Um, a very notice, uh, noticeable and, and notable uh, feature that was added to our system is our document type recognition feature, which um, basically, in a nutshell, allows our submitters to 
uh, have the document type automatically selected uh, once you upload the image into the system, uh, which that, again translates into less clicks and more efficiency. Um, and of course, this is part of an ongoing effort and uh, to, to, to make sure that uh, the user experience is uh, wholesome, more intuitive, and the whole system is easy to use as well. We also offer uh, a real-time response feature, which is also referred to as our live chat feature, uh, available within the system. So um, all of our customers have the ability to uh, get their questions answered um, real-time from our award-winning support team. Um, and then, of course, uh, this ensures that everything is done in a timely fashion. Now, looking at uh, level two, e-recording and level three e-recording. We're just gonna do a, a 30,000 foot overview of these two just to make sure that all of our viewers are aware um, of what these are. Uh, level two e-recording is also referred to as our mainstream e-recording service, uh, which means you will have the ability to scan and upload uh, the images, say in PDF or TIFF formats into our uh, web-based system. The system has all the requirements built into it for all document types. Um, once the document is uploaded into the system, uh, the system will prompt you to input any uh, data that needs to be there in terms of indexing or if there's any supporting documentation that's required. Um, once everything looks good and the system uh, shows that all the requirements have been fulfilled, you will have the ability to immediately transmit that package uh, to the county directly uh, for recordation without you having to cut any checks. Uh, level three e-recording is uh, just a tad bit different. Um, th this basically is for our lean release processing and uh, preparing assignments uh, being predominantly used by our lending clients, uh, mortgage companies, banks, credit unions. Um, our customers have the ability to enter the data um, to generate the lean release document or an assignment, both again for commercial and non-commercial uh, templates. Uh, they have the ability to sign uh, and notarize uh, the documents digitally um, and then directly transmit the document over to the county for recordation. Uh, there are situations where um, some counties do not accept electronic recording currently. Um, in that case, our submitters will have the ability to prepare the template within our system uh, and then print it. Uh, thereby allowing them the opportunity to hand sign and hand notarize the document or physically do all of that work uh, and then either mail the document out um, or hand deliver it. Uh, and of course these templates, again, uh, I, I do want to mention here, um, are for all 50 states, approximately 3,600 or so jurisdictions, uh, predominantly again for lien releasing and assignments. And if I can add real quick, Musa, or on the technology component of it. Um, as the industry evolves and the technology around the industry of, uh, you know, evolves, uh, CSC evolves with it, right? CSC uh, is agile. You know, we remain uh, consistent with the, with the industry standards, right? Uh, nowadays, you know, all the talk is AI. Um, and we're, we're right there, we're evolving with the industry. So um, a lot of new enhancements that we're excited to, to come out with um, you know, in, the, in the near future, uh, kind of centered around that AI component. On this slide, we're going to, to discuss the security component and aspect of, of e-recording. Um, First and foremost, CSC is trusted by 90% of the Fortune 500 companies, um, and eight, eight of the 10 largest banks in the United States use us for, um, for our e-recording services. Um, we're SOC 2 compliant. Um, you know, our SOC 2 assessments in, in, are conducted annually by third-party par, third auditing firms. Um, all applications and, and data maintained on CSC servers, networks, and, and data storage systems are located within a, within an ISO certified and SOC audited co-location uh, hosting facility. Um, Third-party agencies conduct regular regularly aggressive penetration tests on all CSC applications to identify vulnerabilities and verify successful remedia uh, remediation. And lastly, CSC has well-tested uh, business and continuity and disaster recovery processes in place. All right, 
So talking about the basics and benefits of e-recording from uh, an implementation and, and expertise uh, standpoint, um, having uh, newer counties added to our network, um, of course, uh, directly translates into uh, how our customers are able to more and more uh, electronically submit their documents instead of physically submitting them. Um, our e-recording network uh, is consistently growing with uh, newly activated counties added um, every week, and of course, this provides all our submitters access to be able to e-record them without any special approval uh, or request. Um, all they have to do is just log in, select the jurisdiction they want to submit their document in, and they should be easily be able to do so. Um, we do also offer uh, a very robust uh, training uh, program, which means any uh, new customers, once they uh, get onboarded, they receive a welcome email. Uh, they have the ability to schedule um, trainings uh, through, of course, uh, uh, customer support team members, uh, or they also have the ability to uh, request one-on-one -on -one training sessions as well. Uh, again, this can be with the account manager or with the training department. Uh, trainings, of course, are available ongoing, whether it's for new submitters or some of our seasoned, seasoned clients. Uh, we do also offer uh, custom integrations for uh, some of our larger submitters uh, via API, which means this allows them the ability to have a lot of efficiencies added, um, a lot of the uh, document uh, submission process, uh, again, is, is automated to make sure uh, that there's less clicks, less work for the submitter, uh, and more efficiency added to their document recording process. Yeah, Musa, if I can interject real quick on the customer and in custom integration component, um, you know, the title and settlement world, they have their title, the various title softwares that uh, most of which were integrated with. Uh, but to, to expand upon what you said as far as the larger submitters, and look, we know that no two are alike. Um, everyone has their own unique requirements and setups. And um, as I alluded to before in an earlier slide, you know, the word agile comes to play, and that's CSC, where we have that ability to, um, you know, cater, if you will, uh, you know, our, our e-recording uh, platform with, with whatever you may have. Um, you know, you, we, we hear the, the, the term backlog a lot, a lot, right? I have a backlog of, of liens or releases I need to get recorded. We have the, the ability to customize integrations to uh, better make your, your, um, your processes more efficient. We, can, we, can, we have that ability to do so. Fantastic. I, I think this is definitely uh, some valuable information for um, all our participants, Andy. Um, looking at uh, submitter support and county support, um, I, I believe uh, part of a successful uh, business model is to have a, a very robust um, support department. Now, there's a couple of components to our system where um, we provide um, a platform uh, to our customers uh, for them to be able to submit documents directly to the counties. Um, and of course, we also have the ability to uh, plug in with the counties as well. Uh, so at a certain level, we have to provide support with them as well or to them as well. So uh, we made sure that uh, there was uh, you know, no effort spared to make sure that uh, one person or, 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 or one team does not wear multiple hats. Uh, we have dedicated teams uh, for our submitter support and dedicated teams uh, for our county support as well. Okay, on this slide, we're going to talk about the evolution of e-recording. Um, you know, the, the unique market needs, right? Uh, e-recording has evolved to accommodate those unique market needs and, and the needs of the specific markets, right? For example, in Colorado, we developed a service that allows for mortgage servicers to look up the original deeds of trust before recording the release, which is a requirement um, in, in the state of Colorado. Um, Tennessee, for example, when e-recording, uh, they require a certificate of authenticity to, to, to be accompanied with the, the document. Well, we've developed a, a method and, and a process for that within our e-prepare system. Um, when it comes to the 
transfer taxes and the conveyance taxes. We've connected with the, the various offices in states like Washington and, and Ohio to allow for, when it comes to deeds to be recorded, it allows for those uh, respective re reconveyance and transfer tax to be paid at the appropriate state level office before the deed is routed to the to the county to be recorded. So, uh, you know, the the point being is that we, you know, e recording isn't just a you know out of the box process. Um, you know, there there's uh, many different jurisdictions involved that have different requirements. And there again, I'll go back to that word agile. CSC remains ag you know agile in um, you know, catering our services and our, our um, technology to the respective jurisdictions and what their processes and requirements are. As uh, Andy had uh, alluded to before, that over 90% of the U.S. population um, lives uh, in areas or counties where e-recording is active. Um, CSC currently has uh, nearly 2,400 counties um, in our network. Um, some of the notable um, counties that we added uh, this year to our network was were Cuyahoga County, Ohio, population 1.2 million, um, Clark, Indiana, 111,000 people uh, residing in that county, um, Warwick and Newport, Rhode Island, um, and Somerset, Pennsylvania, some of the notable ones. Um, and as uh, you all could see in uh, the map on the right side, um, 76 to 100 percent of the population uh, reside within an e-recording county. Uh, and as we could see on the map, a majority uh, of the states are colored coded with this teal color, uh, which definitely uh, signifies uh, you know, the application of e-recording and how wide it is. All right, let's look at some of the comprehensive uh, digital solutions that CSC offers as part of our real estate e-recording package. Um, one thing to note is that it's extremely important for any organization uh, that while they're selecting a vendor, um, whether that one vendor has any additional services that they can uh, assist with or, or in making the process more easier and much more fluid, um, and keeping that uh, in focus uh, and, and in our vision, uh, CSC has, uh, uh, I would say, a, a toolbox of a whole list of services that we, uh, we offer, starting with our full service lien release process, um, our borrower notification letter uh, service, our custom email notifications feature, um, property search services, our uh, e-trustee services, um, and also our fee calculator. Um, I'm going to be talking a little about, or we're going to be, Andy and I are going to be talking a little bit about all of these features um, in the next few slides. Okay, here we're going to discuss our, our uh, full service lien release uh, processes that we have in place. So um, within our, our application called ePrepare, a submitter can place an order um, for CSC to prepare and record the, the respective satisfactions or releases, lien releases. Uh, you have the ability to create an order either with the original uh, document or, or if you have data items, we can, we can uh, create an order through, through that method. Um, if you do not have the original security instrument, uh, the deed of trust or mortgage, we have the ability to search for those, those respective documents and information. So um, you know, the, the nice thing with this service that we provide is that it's available for all jurisdictions, even those that don't accept e-recording. Um, and because of that, you know, or with that, not only do we have our e-recording system, but we also have a team, a paper recording team that we'll, I'll speak to later on um, based out of Tallahassee, Florida, and that, that, per, that has or provides the ability for you to record your releases um, through a full service mechanism, you know, whether it be e-recording or you know, paper-only jurisdiction. Um, in all aspects, CSC advances all the jurisdictional fees and, and such, and then we are again reconciled the next day, um, you know, with our submitters to a, a number of billing methods. Um, and the nice thing with that for those that are non-e-recordable counties, um, once our team records the documents on your behalf, 
you'll immediately have access to the recorded documents within your established e-recording account. So um, immediate access to the recorded instruments once they're, they're recorded, no matter if it's e-recorded or through, pay, through our paper services. Here's a quick example of our bar notification letter uh, feature, uh, popularly known as the BNL letter. Uh, our system, ePrepare, will automatically prepare and mail out uh, to the borrower a notification uh, from you, uh, which of course will save uh, the submitter or our customer a ton of time, um, of course, which definitely can be dedicated to other tasks. Um, just to give a 30,000 foot overview, um, once a package is created through our system, um, the submitter has the ability to select the release uh, document type, uh, whether it's a commercial or residential release. Um, they have, will have the ability to enter the data for each recipient, uh, and afterwards a customized letter um, is prepared and a copy uh, of the recorded document is sent to the customer, uh, I believe, in a um, neatly prepared letter and an envelope. Uh, now, this meets all internal compliance and statutory requirements. Um, and the application, I think I must mention here, application uh, of this uh, feature is primarily for our release um, or satisfaction of mortgages, but it also has capabilities beyond the mortgage lending. And I'll add something real quick, uh, Musa. We accomplished this ultimately by you, the, the client, providing us with a, a an example or template of what you want this BNL to, to look like from an appearance standpoint, right? So ultimately, once it's delivered to your client, it portrays and looks as if it's coming from you uh, based upon that template or sample that you would have provided us, and ultimately, we would have um, embedded into your, to your ePrepare account. Another one of our features is the custom email notifications feature. Um, so this is predominantly used for uh, automatically notifying third parties via email when uh, the recorded document returns from the recording jurisdiction. Um, of course, this feature is uh, customizable and uh, later on, uh, of course, when, when you do need to go ahead and have this um, email submitted to whether it be your customer uh, or any third party, uh, you are able to customize it. Um, so for example, if you want to add your own company logo, a company name, uh, your contact info, these are some of the notable customizable features. Um, and then of course, uh, once the email is received um, you know, by the customer, they don't have to basically um, you know, worry about uh, having to look out uh, for a letter in the mail. Um, this feature, of course, takes care of a lot of the work. Uh, and, and, and one thing I do want to mention here is uh, that some of our uh, clients that do get started uh, and some, some title comp operations that are worked with basically send out a lot of uh, uh, you know, these, uh, these types of notifications or they need to have uh, recorded images uh, submitted to their, their clients. Uh, and then doing four or five hundred uh, transactions a month means having four or five hundred uh, of these letters or, or emails sent out. Uh, so this basically takes all the hard work away from you. Uh, you'll have the ability to uh, enter the customer's or your customer's email address. Uh, and then once the document is recorded by the jurisdiction, um, a notification is generated, uh, which again, you can customize as I've mentioned before. Uh, a notification is generated with a copy of the attached instrument, uh, which is automatically submitted to your customer. All right, on this one, I'm gonna discuss our property search services. Um, you know, we have the ability with the need prepare uh, to, to run different types of reports. You can run a detailed report or a summary report of a property. Uh, you can also pull in images, um, you know, of, uh, of the last financial document or the, you know, the last, uh, you know, the last mortgage or the last deed. If the county allows them to be, if they have the images available for us to pull from, then we can. And you have the ability to order images of the of those those documents. Um, and we, you can search properly through a num number of mechanisms, whether it be the address, the owner. If you have the APN, 
you can you can search a property that way. Um, and in in some cases, you can even pull up an assessor's map um, if if there again if it's available, if the county makes them available. Um, then you can also pull in a in a you know the last uh, plat, if you will, or survey of the the property and and uh, you know, be able to reference it through ePrepare as well. All right, on this slide, it's just a quick overview of our e-trustee services. Uh, around uh, nine or 10 states in the Midwest and West have a process in place that requires a trustee to be involved when, when releasing the original deed of trust. And um, we have a process in place for, for those, those transactions if, if, you do not that, if you do not have a trustee um, involved in that transaction, right? So you need the original deed of trust to reference on the, the reconveyance or, or release, but you don't have that information. We have that ability to pull in and reference that original deed of trust. So, so therefore, that data can be referenced on that release or reconveyance. Um, it's available. There it is in the, the, the states listed there, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Idaho, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, Oregon, Utah, and Washington. All right, let's quickly look at the county fee uh, calculation estimator. Um, having accurate fees um, for any documents they submit um, is definitely a very essential part of the whole um, recording experience. And uh, our, 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 our e county fee calculator feature um, would allow you to pull county recording fees um, and taxes uh, for all document types um, all you would need to do is, once this feature is enabled, uh, just input some data points uh, to be able to retrieve um, all of these estimated uh, recording fees before you're able to submit your documents. Um, one thing, of course, to note here is that the data um, on all of these fees is sourced daily, which means uh, the users will have the most accurate recording uh, fee information uh, for submission or reconciliation purposes. Um, and submitters will have access to pull unlimited uh, fees use, using either uh, our monthly or, or yearly subscription options. And basically, you could go to town with uh, uh, having uh, these county calculations or, or fee calculations done. All right, and on this slide, I'm going to talk about our, our paper recording services, right, or our, our full service capabilities that we provide. Uh, you know, Many of you may not be aware, but there's nearly 3,600 counties throughout the, the country, of which 2,400 roughly accept e-recording, right? So you hear that, you say, wow, a third of the country doesn't e-record. What do I do now? Um, bear in mind, you know, the, the 2,400 counties that do e-record encompasses over 90% over of the U.S. population, right? So there's remaining 1,200 counties. In all likelihood, you're not recording in, in those jurisdictions, but if you do, we have a team available to you to – to, to help you in that process, right? Um, as I alluded to earlier, we have a team based out of Tallahassee, Florida that provides our full service paper recording services. Um, you, in, it, literally, you can put your, your, your documents in a package or a box if you have many of them, send them to our team in Tallahassee, and we'll process them and get them recorded for you. Um, if it is any e-recordable jurisdictions, they'll get your documents e-recorded, upload the recorded images into your e-prepare sy uh, system or your, your account, so you have immediate access to the recorded instruments, and then they'll mail you the originals back to you along with the recorded, the, the hard copy recorded documents. Um, or for those jurisdictions that don't accept e-recording, you mail them to our team in Tallahassee, and they'll disseminate them to the respective counties to be recorded and ultimately retor return the recorded originals and recorded instruments back to you through, our, through, through the mail, um, as well as uploading those recorded instruments into your e-prepare account. So, you know, th this slide illustrates our, there again, that word, agile, our, our ability to, to remain agile in the, the various industries and markets and provide ultimately a full service, full service component to our, our um, suite of services. All right, now I'll just finish up with this slide. Um, just a quick overview of uh, a, another service that oftentimes can go hand in hand with the, the recording and e-recording process uh, when it comes to real estate transactions, and that's our UCC, UCC services. So we work closely with our UCC team. Um, oftentimes, we share clients who, who have a need to use both our e-recording and UCC services, and um, I'd be remiss not to mention at least to our audience our ability 
to uh, provide these UCC services. Our team is dedicated. They can search. Um, they can file, monitor, track, everything that's related to the full UCC process and cycle. Um, our team has the ability to do so. So if you have a need for UCC services, either as a standalone or in addition to our e-recording services, certainly let us know. We'll be more than happy to, to put you in contact with our, our great team over there at the UCC side.